the Quest 3 versus the Pico 4. Which VR headset is truly the best? Let's dive right into it. Starting off with the hardware. The Meta Quest 3 released a year after that of the Pico 4. But when comparing its hardware specs, they are a lot closer than you might think. Both headsets are rocking the next generation pancake lenses, which makes it possible for the front visors to be a lot slimmer compared to its predecessors. That also means that they both rock the same field of view of about 110 degrees. But when we look at the displays, the Quest 3 is using a single LCD panel with a resolution that is slightly lower than that of the Pico 4. And on top of that, Pico is using two LCD panels, resulting in a slightly higher pixel density than that of Meta. But while the Pico 4 might have a slight advantage when it comes to the screen quality, the biggest difference can be seen in the chipset, because Meta Quest 3 is using the brand new XR2 Generation 2 chip, which has more than double the performance power than that of the Pico 4, creating an absolute insane difference when it comes to future potential. Because while most VR games at the moment don't utilize the power that the Quest 3 is capable of, looking more towards later releases, the bigger games that will be played on the Quest 3 will outperform the Pico 4 by a long shot. And the same goes when we look at the mixed reality capabilities. Because while both headsets are rocking color pass-through cameras on the outside, which lets the user experience mixed reality by seeing their surroundings in full color, it is the Quest 3 that is also equipped with a LiDAR scanner. This is basically a depth sensor that ensures that all the digital objects and windows are much more seamlessly shown inside your user environment. That means that once again, the Meta Quest 3 is outperforming Pico. Although there is one important thing where the Pico 4 does shine a lot brighter, and that is with its included head strap. Because right out of the box, they have a halo strap directly built into it. Not only does this make the headset much more comfortable, it is because they house some of the components inside of it that it will also feel a lot less front heavy to your face, which is a very big deal when it comes to longer gaming sessions. And while it is possible to get a pro head strap for your Quest 3, it sure does not come in cheap. And besides, Meta is also known to have some huge problems when it comes to their own line of head straps. But of course, it's not just the headset that is part of the hardware, because we also see a big difference between these two when it comes down to the controllers, with the Meta Quest 3 revamping their entire lineup with what they call their Touch Plus controller. And where the Pico 4 still has the outside tracking ring, it is actually what is inside the controller that makes such a big difference. Because the Meta Quest 3 has the brand new True Haptics. This means that it can provide isolated rumbles completely throughout your grip as well as inside your triggers, creating a much more enhanced immersion similar to what we see in the PlayStation VR 2 controllers. In contrast, the Pico 4 have a much more basic version of this, and their tracking is also slightly less accurate thanks to the spatial LiDAR scanner that we talked about before. So when it comes to controllers, the Quest 3 is definitely taking the win. And that gets us to the software, because while it is great to have a high-end VR headset, in the end, it is the software that you are using it for. This can be things from games, to productivity as well as social features that could completely change your experience inside VR, with the most prominent one being their VR game library because the Meta Game Store is much bigger compared to that of the Pico 4, especially since Meta owns a lot of VR studios, resulting in a lot of games being only playable on their VR headsets. And while Pico did try to port over as many games as they could, some of them will sadly not see the light of day on this headset. And that is now especially important when you look at big games like Asgard's Wrath 2 which is currently only available for MetaQuest users. However, both these VR headsets are also capable of playing PC VR content like Steam VR if you connect them to a buff gaming PC. But it is not just for the games, because a lot of other things like productivity apps, hand tracking and regular updates that unlock a bunch of new features, the Quest 3 just takes this to a whole other level. But another important thing that we have to talk about is of course the price. With the Pico 4 coming in at a price tag of $430, the Meta Quest 3 pumps that up slightly coming in at $500. But that gets us to the final conclusion. While the Pico 4 has a better dual LCD display and a pro head strap directly out of the box, the Quest Quest 3 looks much more like the next generation VR headset, thanks to its two times more powerful chipset, improved controllers, but especially its insane library of games, with some great exclusives that just keep growing every day, 
and although the Quest 3 comes in at a slightly higher price, I definitely believe that it is worth the upgrade. While on the other hand, we should not forget that the Pico 4 released a year earlier and could perhaps quickly catch up with the release of their next VR headset. But that's not all, because there are also some must-play games and apps that you just have to try. So click on the video that you see on screen right now to make sure you don't miss out.